Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm going to be doing a transmission flush and a rear differential flush. Now I purchased the Subaru OEM 75W90. I'm happy with the way that the car shifts so I didn't want to try anything different and run into any issues later. Now for this project you're going to need a T70 bit as well as a gasket. Here's the part number here. As well as just for help, a little fluid pump. Some of the areas are kind of difficult to use a funnel pour method, so the pump is going to help us out quite a bit. Now I have the car up on jacks right now, have some good clearance. I'm going to get underneath, start with the front first, and I'll show you what we got. So, underneath the car, you can see the bottom of the transmission, that's where the T70 is going to go, and your dipstick. Let me try to get it here. There we go. Right up there it's that circle piece. Almost right within where you see that hose kind of doing a U shape. So basically what I'm gonna do is use my pan here, drain it now, and start reapplying and take a look at any magnetic sediment. Now that you have it loosened, I do have the actual dipstick portion taken out. You just simply untwist, let it flow. It doesn't look as dirty as some of the others that I've seen. For the bolt itself, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot on it compared to some others that I've seen online. But I'll go ahead and wipe it here, show you what we got. It's just a little bit, just enough to get the towel dirty, but not enough where it causes any type of concern. So I'm going to clean this off, reinsert it. Uh, from past video I saw it said torque it to four, like uh, 17 foot pounds, but I'm just going to use the impact to put it back on, that way it's really tight. One thing you want to do is remove this washer, and this is where the new one is going to go. So the drain plug is all clean now. Like I said, I'm just going to use the impact to torque it back on. I believe they said the setting was 17 or 18, but I really don't trust that on this. Since it was on there tough, I'm going to put it back on there tough. Besides that, I'm going to use 3.5 quarts. Just putting that in here with this tube. From there, I'll be all set with the transmission. Now, this one here is the rear bottom diff bolt. Basically, I just put this wrench in here, broke the top one loose first, and then broke the bottom. I have it draining now. I almost have uh, have three quarts in the transmission right now. I'm about to put the half quart in, finish that up. I wanted to go ahead and break this loose and let it drain. Why? I was finishing up the front, but pretty easy. This one's a little bit more dirty. I'm going to get it cleaned up. Whenever you put the bottom one in, you're going to torque it to 36 pounds, and then put in your 0.8 quarts. Basically, you keep on uh, putting fluid in until it starts overflowing out of the top bolt. Once the top bolt has a little bit of flow coming out of it, basically just put that one in, torque it to 36 pounds as well, and then you're all set. This is what I was talking about, the bottom and the top bolt. You take the bottom out to drain it, you put it back in to fill it. And basically filled, I had taken, a, just gotten a rough idea of what 0.8 was into ounces, and it was 26.5. So once I'd put just about 26.5 in there, it started dripping out of the top. So now all I have to do is put the bolt back in, torque it to 36, and I am done. I'll complete this project out. 